All right, now, not too many people would know, but breast cancer is indeed the leading cause of cancer deaths among women today. But the uh, biggest challenge on that count is early detection. We have a startup now on uh, this edition of uh, Startup Central, a startup that is solving uh, this particular problem of early detection. They have a made in India innovation. Nirama is the startup in question and has developed an automated diagnostic tool that uses uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning as well. Rahul Dayama, my colleague, had a chance to speak to Geeta Manjunath, who is the CEO and founder of this startup, uh, to understand how exactly it works. Take a look. I was actually a computer scientist with PhD in AI from Indian Institute of Science, working on different interesting problems, right, uh, where uh, technology can uh, be used to solve. Uh, around that time, one of my cousin's sisters, uh, Bharti, was detected with breast cancer. She was just 38 years old. And I really saw how um, this particular disease can really not just take away their life. The whole family is disturbed and distressed, and, and, and it's also a huge economic impact on the family. Uh, and she was very close to me, so I said, okay, can we use technology to solve this problem? So I discussed with a couple of our friends, imaging experts, and heard about this new technology, or an mod old modality called thermography, uh, you know, which possibly can be renewed with uh, this new technology of artificial intelligence. So that's what we researched upon. Some of the team members here were very much part of this research when we started. How, how long did it take for you in terms of research and really seeing that, is this really the answer uh, to the problem that you're wanting to solve? Yeah, so uh, we started the project mid-2014, really not knowing where we were going. Yeah. We just started uh, screening uh, some of uh, cancer patients and, and started using this to say, where is the cancer, right? Use these algorithms to analyze thermal images and saying, where is the cancer? But then I thought, like, you know, what is the use of uh, trying to find where the cancer is when people already know that yeah. it is? Can we use it for screening? So we shifted towards the screening in about 2015 time frame. And that's when we started screening normal patients and trying to see if there is a remarkable difference between thermal images of normal patients and abnormal patients. And that's when sort of early research started. But uh, the full-time research and starting of Niramai operationally was January 1st, 2017, where four of us from my previous organization. January 1st, New Year. Yes, New Year of 2000. So it's about three years since we uh, started Niramai operationally. And uh, it's been an excellent experience trying to make a difference in real got life. It. You know, uh, what really got us excited is this, uh, the tool that you have developed is made in India, so to say, yes. uh, in terms of the technology powering this. Uh, uh, so the, there is an Indian way of really solving a problem, of course, you know. Could you talk to us about what the technology driving this is and how this really works? Sure. Thermography has been around for quite some time. In 1982, it was already approved as an FDA modality, FDA approved modality for adjunct screening. That is along with something else you can screen. Uh, but it's a very hard thing to interpret an image that is coming in from uh, these uh, devices because, uh, you know, just to give you an idea, there are 400,000 temperature points per person we measure. How can a doctor, being a human being, look at these color points mm. and then say whether something is malignant or not, cancer or not. So that's been a problem and hence it was an adjunct modality. What we did was to develop new algorithms which are based on machine learning and AI, which is one of the uh, hot topics talked yeah, about today, yeah, yeah. right? We combined thermal imaging and AI. We have come up with this technique called thermalytics. Thermalytics mm. was for thermal analytics. And this is completely made in India, developed by our team right here. And uh, this actually makes a huge difference. Mm. We look at these thermal images, the algorithms actually analyze and generate a full three-page report completely automatically. Mm. Mm. And of course, it goes to a radiologist for final analysis because he or she is the one who makes the final call on whether somebody requires a follow-up test and you know um, treatment or something like that. But making it the first screening modality that any person can go through has multiple advantages. Got it. Uh, you know, we'll come to the advantages in a while, but uh, there's also the stigma really that is attached, right? A lot of women do not want to go out there and get tested. It's interesting, this is radiation-free, non-touch. Uh, so, you know, the privacy feature has also sort of been addressed in a big way, which is a big problem. Let's really get, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's get candid that in India, it is difficult for women to come out and talk about this and go out there and really seek uh, this. Absolutely. So, uh, initially, we were actually doing it in like, you know, we're screening the person sitting next to next door and doing the analysis. 
Then we said, what is the reason? So this is connected to the laptop yeah. and actually it's through a wire. So we put a screen in between, a curtain in between, and it dramatically changes the patient experience. It becomes a completely no touch, no see, no pain, no radiation. Four no's of Niramai, which is so important to have the right experience for the end user what I call as changing room experience. The lady enters a booth, she sits in front of this device, you know, nobody around, right? And uh, for 10 minutes and she comes out, her report will be ready. So this whole privacy aware experience, I think is very critical to enable women to get into this test without having this stigma, shyness of disrobing in front of others. Yeah. All right, uh, interesting. Uh, also, you know, what's the success rate when it comes down to, uh, I'm sure you have a research behind you. I believe, you know, we're discussing close to 28,000 women who have sort of, you know, been tested. What's the success rate from the traditional mediums that are already out there? We'll talk of the cost factor also, which is very crucial. Um, Sure. So, yeah, we have now tested more than 30,000 women uh, using this uh, technique called thermalytics. Uh, <clears throat> we have also clinically compared uh, the results of Niramai test, thermalytics test, with mammography, sonomammography, with biopsy being the uh, end, end uh, uh, you know, deciding factor. Um, I'm happy to share that our results have been uh, comparable, even in fact better than uh, some of the existing methods, especially in finding cancers. We were able to find early stage breast cancer as small as 5 mm, much earlier. It's like stage 0, stage 1 of the, uh, of the disease. So that's something we've been able to find with uh, much higher, like more than 90% sense between all of our tests is something that we've been able to uh, find. In fact, we were judged as one of the 50 top breakthrough ideas by ASCO, American Society of Clinical Oncology, which we presented in Thailand as Got well. It. You know, let's, let's come down to the cost factor. How uh, how cost effective this is if you're really solving for larger masses, you know, uh, organizing screenings at rural areas and things like that. Uh, how does the cost factor really work out for the end patient even while you go about innovative uh, it's a lot of R&D spend that really goes to drive it um, and uh, you know you'd want to have the cost factor also in mind I'm sure you're funded by investors we'll talk about how you got Binny on board but uh, you know how, how how cost efficient is it for the end consumer so we sell the solution to partners like yeah. you know hospitals and diagnostic centers or non-profit organizations and cancer societies which can you know who can actually further provide this solution to the end users so the final pricing is you know decided by mm -hmm. our partners having said that our aim is to at least keep this cost at least one twelve one half or one third the cost of uh, current modali modalities, uh, wherever it be, right? Uh, so this solution is available uh, in 50 plus locations in hospitals and diagnostic centers, where it's uh, uh, you know given to the end user around 1,500 rupees, while the equivalent methodology is about 3,500. Uh, we actually have two products. We also have a product for the screening community where you need a real-time mm -hmm. screening uh, red yellow green you can call it triaging report to identify who among these people need to be brought to the hospital for a further test there you know our aim is to actually bring down the cost to like you know 100 200 rupees per person all right that's that's really the plan going ahead you have an uh, interesting bunch of investors backing you Benny Bansil early on in the journey how did it happen uh, what really got him excited about the problem that you were solving that he decided to really put his money also behind yeah, I think uh, first time when we came out and we wanted to raise uh, uh, funds, uh, we met Pi Ventures, Manish Singhal yeah. being the uh, key partner there. Uh, he was very impressed because AI is the key thing behind this solution. That's a key enabler which changes from no solution to the solution. So he was the first one. Um, he, uh, he's the lead investor of the or first re seed round. And... Um, uh, Bini had invested in Pi Ventures in, in direct form and so when Bini heard about this, he of course also was interested to participate in this along with Axelor, Ankur Capital and other What, what was his advice? Do you remember the meet that you had? Wh what did he have to tell you on how you can really scale this? Uh... He really likes it because uh, there is uh, good customer centricity here, right? Uh, it is no contact no touch, mm -hmm. no see aspect, which I mentioned, which is what he actually liked. And the fact that we can do it at scale and uh, really save lives. And I think the social impact factor mm -hmm. is something that all our investors are very uh, happy to support, right? So that's, uh, that's the key. There's a need to really look at, uh, you know, products like this and startups solving the problem and the impact they create, right? Like, it's great to have these uh, patents and all of it fine, but if the impact is created, I think we should be celebrating a lot of these stories. Sure, yeah, definitely. Regulatory clearance 
is very important um, whether we go into Indian market yeah. villages and so on or any other markets uh, today uh, DCGI which is an Indian regulatory body has uh, uh, approved our uh, usage of this, like you know, cleared uh, in terms of regulatory conformances. Uh, the device itself is CE, CE approved as well as FDA clear. We are going through the process of uh, taking our whole solution uh, to, to FDA and getting cleared for the world. Yeah. Got it. And that's about all we could pack into this edition of Startup Central. I'm Vikramoza from me and the team. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back with you same time tomorrow as well. See you then.